Her ballet shoes are now far away from the prestigious Bolshoi. Top ballerina Olga Smirnova says she opposes the war with every fiber of her soul. She left Russia with a heavy heart. When I think that Russia started to to, to start this war, it makes me ashamed of my country. Because my country, I was always proud of some culture and sports achievements. And it's true, it's a really rich culture. Smirnova has been a star dancer at the Bolshoi since she joined the company more than a decade ago. In review, she was described as a rarity, a ballerina whose every movement feels luminously right and true. When you could captivate audience with beauty and movement, it means uh, you can tell or you can deliver to them messages and these messages of love, peace, kindness, hope. Smirnova is one of many Russians who left after the invasion in Ukraine, but her defection as one of her country's top ballerinas touches the very heart of its ballet culture. While ballet has long been seen as linking Russia to the outside world, the departure of Smirnova and others brings back memories of the Cold War and fears that Russia could be increasingly isolated. After Western governments imposed sanctions on Russia, the Dutch National Ballet decided to stop its collaboration with state-subsidized companies like the Marinsky Ballet in St. Petersburg. Ballet is not completely removed from politics and has never been. Art and politics do exist together in the same world. And so we also have to take a stand. And it feels like we're going back in time. And that's a terribly sad thing because there has always been cultural exchange. While the exchange has paused for now, Russia continues to be present in Smirnova's performances. Just a few weeks after she left her country, she starred in Raimonda, a ballet first choreographed in 1898 in St. Petersburg. Of course, it's my, it's my country and I'm Russian, but I prefer not, not to live in the country which behave in this way. But people I've have a kind of fear. For example, I think my colleagues. And in, it's the time when everyone needs to, needs to, to choice, to make their own choice. And I made mine. Smirnova says by denouncing the war, she risked a long prison term. The Dutch audience applauded her, not only for her performance, but also for her stand against the war. Stepfast in Al Jazeera in Amsterdam.